I'm very excited about our 100 Resilient Cities conference this week. I'm super excited because it brings together public sector leaders from around the world with corporate partners who have committed real resources to helping cities solve tough problems and other types of colleagues and different stakeholders so that we can actually get about the business of implementing projects and delivering real results for vulnerable populations in these cities. To me, resilience is about helping vulnerable people lead better lives and doing that in a way that delivers concrete results for those populations. Sometimes those vulnerable populations are under real threat because of extreme poverty. And we see that in our cities like Lagos and Addis and New Orleans where people who are living in very, very tough circumstances don't have access to the economic opportunities in those communities and don't have access to the health and food and water that they need to lead effective and healthy and productive lives. Sometimes it's protecting people from the threats of climate risks and storms and shocks. And we see that in New Orleans, Chicago, New York, all around the world. So uh, both protection from climate threat and really helping people lead better lives in the basics of economic security and human welfare uh, are what resilience means to me. At the end of the day, it's about equity and ensuring that everyone in these cities has a fair shot at a productive life. Well, 100 Resilient Cities has been a great initiative. It's brought 100 cities carefully selected that have real political commitment to solving problems for their vulnerable populations to the table. Uh, more than 80 of those cities have now formally hired chief resilience officers and ha are developing uh, strategies that define sort of specific priority projects that will make life better for vulnerable populations. And the reason I'm so excited about this effort is I can see in the next years ahead uh, that they pivot to implementation. They in inspire all the partners at this conference to put more resources and skin in the game to solve problems and bring better health, better food, better nutrition, better water, and better economic opportunities, namely jobs, to those who live in poverty in these cities around the world.